Hey my lovelies, my name is Jane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been three months since I've been on here but a lot has happened in that time which I'm going to tell you about today so I thought I would do a bit of a chit chat get ready with me. I'm not actually going anywhere but I thought you know I've got some new makeup to play with and I thought you know I would just sit down and just let you guys know where I've been and what I've been up to. So to start off today, we are going in with, bought this one recently. This is the pore filler from NYX. I thought mine was off to begin with and I sort of went on YouTube and that and I thought, well, no, apparently that's the texture, but I like, I do like it. Don't get me wrong, but let's see if I can, my light's glaring a bit, but it's very... That's better. Don't know. And if I tip my hand, it'll fall off. <laughs> but it does give good results. So you've got to be really, 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 really careful. Because when I try and pick it up, it's so hard to pick up. I keep wondering whether mine is off or not. So I'm going to chuck that in there. If you see me looking down, I've got a mirror sort of down lower today. I don't know whether you can see the difference. I don't know what this lighting's like. This is a new light that I got for Christmas, which is the Ilios light. So if the lighting sucks, <laughs> I'm really sorry. But like I say, this is the first time I've actually filmed with it. So, but I stupidly got rid of my other stand-up mirror. I gave it to my sister thinking, oh, I'm not going to need that. Didn't give it a thought about filming. You know, I'm going to chuck that on my nose as well because I've got quite a lot of pores on my nose that are noticeable. But I do find this makes a difference. It's very silicony, but it does look nice and makes a difference. So I'm just going to scrape that last little bit up. And again, lots of pores on my chin. But I do find, like I said, it does, I feel it does make a difference and just sort of smooths everything out. What's that look like? But yeah, but like I say, the, I don't know. It's just, it's just really, really sort of weird consistency, but it does look good. So what have I been up to? I'm just going to go in with the Revlon Skin Lights. I've been using this differently. I was chucking it in my foundation. No, I just chuck it on my face. <laughs> I've got time for that anymore. <laughs> so I will literally just squeeze a bit, squeeze a bit, squeeze a bit. Like that, nothing exciting. Might have to change this mirror situation. It's not working for me. I have got a hand mirror here, an oldie but a goodie. So maybe I'll try sort of using that one and see see how that works better, but try not to block my face. So we're just gonna blend that one in just to give a bit of a glow. But um, yeah, so I think it was November the last time I was on here, so which was quite a long time ago to be fair. And um, lots happened since then, so. I had some time off work, started what, beginning of October, you know, so I wasn't, I wasn't in a good place mentally, so I, I, I had some time out for a while, only what, about six weeks, so just enough to get my head back together. Just going to go in with an oldie but a goodie, this is all I use at the moment, and this is the Urban Decay Hydromania Stay Naked Tinted Glow Hydrator, medium coverage up to 24 hours wear in 30 light. Now I'm nearly out of this, I'm going to have to order some more soon because this is all I use. If you have a look at my foundation collection, all I've got in there is this, that's it. I really need to branch out a bit, but again, Time hasn't been my friend, so we're just going to squidge a bit of this on. So, yeah, so I was off and that, you know, and like I said, I wasn't in a very good place. And I got this email and it said on there that um, they'd seen my CV online and they thought that I might be a good applicant for a job offer. So... You know, I sort of looked at it and I thought, well, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> and the, the plan always was this year was to change jobs anyway. You know, there, there was a lot of changes going on sort of in the next few months where I was working. 
don't get me wrong i freaking loved my job i loved the people i loved my job you know i really really did you know a lot of people aren't lucky enough to have a job that they really really like and i absolutely loved mine I said you know the staff were freaking amazing i miss them dearly so with this um email i thought oh, do you know what i'm looking to change jobs next year anyway this would be perfect it's local so i could walk to work whereas i was taking the bus don't know whether i'm doing a very good job on this different mirrors <laughs> it's a different setup we'll make it work we'll make it work so you know it sort of said to me you know could i put in a sort of full cv and that so which i did i covered everything i think so let's say it's only a light one anyway which is what i like about it my older skin so i thought do you know what why not give it a go you know if i don't get the job it doesn't matter i got a job it, it really doesn't matter i wasn't looking until sort of this year anyway sort of you know later this year as well so it was like eh, whatever we'll, we'll put a you know an application in which i did do so did that got a phone call back um saying about doing a phone interview so yeah fine you know just did that and so I had a phone call about a week later and like I said I was still off work at this point so it all happened while I was actually off work which was helpful because it meant that I didn't have to schedule interviews I could do it sort of you know whenever so that made everybody's life a bit easier and so did the interview you know and then there was another round of sort of telephone interviews so done that got through that and then I was called in for a face-to-face -face interview. So I went, went in, done that. I'm so still off at this time. So this, this happened probably over a course of three or four weeks. So it's like, that's fine. So I went for the interview. I was in there about, about 15 minutes. It was quite a long interview in that, you know. So, so I met the area manager and all that, you know. And by this time, I'm like, oh. I want this job <laughs> yeah i thought i really really want this job so i thought you know if i don't if i don't get it it's again i'd already got a job so you know i was i was grateful that i had a job and had a job that i really really loved so it was just a case of but you know with the not traveling anymore and that it would have been amazing so you know so it was a case of that's fine so I tried not to think about it, you know, and then I went back to work because they did sort of say, you know, it could take a while for you to hear, you know, it all takes a while. It's so like, that's fine. So um, went back to work. So I want to try and do something a bit different today. So I've just picked up the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. And I'm just going to go in with a shimmer. Now, there's a YouTuber called Jessica Bourne. If you don't follow her, give her a follow. She is freaking awesome. She's my most favourite YouTuber ever and she goes in with just a shimmer you know and she's got slightly hooded eyes and that and i kept thinking one of these days i'm going to try that well today's the day so i'm going to go in with let's try not to oblige you with the mirror with whisper and just give it a go while i'm chatting to you so um i say i was at work you know didn't think much of it um left work i'd actually left work and a friend of mine had met me so i'm gonna try it with a fluffy brush i don't know whether that's gonna work but we're gonna give it a go just always wanted to see what it would look like whether that one's a bit too pale but i didn't want to go anything too major i can always put a darker one over the top and i was at the bus stop waiting for me bus home like usual and i thought oh i'll just check my emails a minute and you know i saw an email that said congratulations on your new position well i was absolutely thrilled and my phone was like what 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 i'm going you're gonna hate me and it's like what do you mean you're gonna i'm gonna hate you i said you are really gonna hate me you know so i saw secrecy because obviously i had to hand in my notice at the other job she didn't work there you know she's just a friend of mine and you know and i said to her i said like you know you're gonna hate me i'm gonna tell you but you can't tell anybody until I've contacted work myself 
you know so um you know so i got the job i was in originally i worked in a drugstore that well, is quite light isn't it well, we're going to match them up and then maybe put something a bit dark over top so i went from working sort of in a drugstore with cosmetics and medication and things like that to clothing retail so i've done clothing retail before so it wasn't something I, I hadn't done, but, it, you know, it was a long time ago. But I had sort of done clothing retail sort of years ago and that, you know, but um, and really enjoyed it. But this time I went in as their new store manager. So a <laughs> bit of a feather in my cap. Um, what are we going to? Uh, I don't think that's just dark enough. Don't know. Let's put some of tra travertine over the top. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe just put that in the crease. So, yeah. So, I now work full-time as a store manager in a clothing store, which is has been awesome. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, there's no travelling to work. I can walk. I'm there in 20 minutes, which makes a big difference. Uh, how's that looking? Can you actually see anything? I don't know. Let's just... I don't know whether this is for me. Like I said, I always want to try it and today's a good day. Right, so... So, yeah, so I've been doing that since... I'm going to get wet white for my fingers. Um, I gave him my notice at work. I phoned him up the next day because... I needed to give two weeks notice but also I needed some time off in between leaving the old job starting the new job because I, I had like things to get in a row you know I I wore uniform to work whereas this job I don't wear uniform so it's like well I haven't got anything suitable so I knew I had to go shopping and pack and I just had sort of things to do it was also right on Christmas as well Christmas was around the corner and I had to go away for two weeks training um, I live in Devon, so I had to go the next county up, which was Somerset, you know, to a little seaside resort called Western Supermare, and to do two weeks training. So I had to be up there to start on the 11th of December, shows how close it was to Christmas. So, you know, I needed a bit of time in between, you know, I think in the end I had like 10 days in between finishing one job, starting the other job, which was absolutely fine. Just going to go in a slightly darker colour again, but this isn't working for me. <laughs> you know, but, um, so yeah, so, you know, I spent sort of a couple of weeks away from home. I, I literally came home two days before Christmas. So, you know, so I had to make sure all my Christmas presents were wrapped and been bought for starters. You know, I think I'd all but finished anyway. So, of course, I had to finish all that. I just don't think it's for me, you know. But never mind. We'll, we'll carry on anyway. Uh, I'm just going to put that lighter colour back on top. We did go in with slightly darker colour. So but I'm just going to... But I think it's just just not for me. Which is a shame, really, because it always looks so nice. But it might look better once we put everything else together. So, yeah. So, like I said, you know, I went to Western Supermare. Their shop there. You know, with an amazing lady she is friggin awesome you know my trainer was just brilliant i absolutely loved her you know we're still in contact now because she's also one of our like um coordinators so if there's something i'm still not sure on or whatever you know i'll give her a ring and sort of say hi you know i need help <laughs> which is fantastic you know so it's nice that we sort of still keep in touch so i'm just going to put a liner on use the darkest shade silhouette in this one just uh might make it look a bit better so yeah so then i took over my store boxing day so i came back on the friday christmas was on the monday and i took over the new store on the tuesday you know so and obviously starting a new job isn't easy it really isn't easy you know especially when there's a team already there and the previous manager had stayed on as a supervisor so of course you know that they, they, they were used to going to her for anything so you know 
it's a bit concerning. It's like before you even get there, it's like, oh, how is this going to work? And it's like, it'll be fine. But to be honest, you know, they've been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'd say the team has been awesome. They've been really helpful and supportive, you know, and understanding that I'm still sort of new to the role. So, yeah, been really, really amazing. So I've just had some time off now. I'll go back in a couple of days. So I just, like I say, had some time. I've had some holiday to use up, so I'm using that up now. So, yeah, like I'll say, so a lot's happened. So with YouTube on days off I am busier at home than I am at work because I'm trying to catch up on the housework you know get my hair washed you know everything else you know clean clothes for work do find that um a bit not problematic but <laughs> it's not as easy when you haven't got a uniform you know whereas before it was a case of always I'd clean uniform I'd literally get my trousers out get my t-shirt out get my jacket out job done whereas now I have to think ahead what I'm wearing to work each day, make sure, you know, that it's all looks sort of nicely pressed and smart and tidy. So, yeah, that, that's been a bit different. So, but I'm getting there, you know, I've sort of got certain things that I sort of wear to work and I'm trying to build on that. But that's a problem in itself at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, let's go in with the next product that's new to me. Now, I heard everybody raving about this. And I saw it on offer around Christmas time, I want to say. And I've been trying it out and it's like, why isn't it as good as everybody says? So I'm really sorry. <laughs> you know, if anybody sort of got this and they're like, I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know. I'm just cleaning my brush off that I use with it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not as impressed as... I thought I was going to be. It's nice, <laughs> but it's, I don't know, I just, it, it's just fine, you know, so I don't tend to use it that often, so I thought today's a good day to use it, and it is the Made by Mitchell Curve Case. This is in, is it medium or light? Oh, I don't think it actually says on there. I'll show you, which is this one here. So as you can see, I have used it, you know, I've used it quite a bit. So I've been playing with it, trying to get it to just look a little bit better than, but I don't know, maybe I'm using the wrong brush. I don't know what it is. I've tried different brushes and it still hasn't, it's nice, but it's not as good as they raved about. So what colour am I going to go in? All right, so... We're going to go in with this one here, which is Shady Business. I'm not going to use the blush today because I've got other blushes I want to use today. So we're going to go in with Shady Business. But I don't know. Maybe because this room is really cold. So maybe because it's cold. <laughs> I keep trying to make excuses for it, you know. So let's just chuck some of that on. You know, it's pigmented, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about this one, you know. Still on the fence, but hey-ho. You know, at least, at least I got it on an offer. <laughs> so I can pay full price for it. I'm um, going with my sponge. I actually bought that brand new clean sponge today. I thought, well, why not? So ooh, maybe I've put a bit much on there. Let's see, leave that one out of the way. But see, it blends in all right. I don't know. Maybe it's the tones. I've tried a lot of the different tones on it, but that just looks really red. No, but does look heavy handed. Doesn't look quite so heavy handed when I look in the mirror, but when I look in the viewfinder, just looks a bit more sort of red. So we're just going to blend the life out of that what i'm going to do is just wipe off my brush and go in with something a bit cooler from the same palette so we're going to go in with hello there this one here you see it's a little bit cooler toned and just chuck a bit of that over the top let's see if i can get rid of some of that redness may work may not but i don't know see what i mean i'm just not that happy with it <laughs> Like I say, it's just fine. It's 
it's, it's I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's me, you know, if you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know, because <laughs> I want to love it, you know, I bought it, you know, I wanted to love it, okay, we can clean up that later, that's, that's no biggie, okay, so moving on, the blushes I want to use today are the elf ones, so I have two shades here, so yeah, I jumped on the bandwagon. So I can never read the names of these, but I will put them in the description down below. They never put them anywhere where you can actually read it. Because when you sort of see the bottom of that, it just all blurs into one, you know. So which colour are we going to go for? I must admit, I have been enjoying this one. <laughs> Do like the colour of this one. Now these are really scary. You know, I heeded all the warnings when I first used it because it gets out of control really, really quickly. So I did heed all the warnings and go in with a very, very small amount. So what I tend to do is scrape off bits <laughs> because it is scary. Let's get a better mirror, otherwise I'm gonna put it in the wrong place. You know it and I know it. So, oh, that might be too much. Oh, that, might, that might be too much. <laughs> so I tend to go in with a brush first and just kind of tap it because I find that's easy and then I go in with a sponge afterwards you know so yeah yeah so like I say you know it's been nice sort of you know changing jobs sort of earlier than I anticipated because the original plan was was you know I was going to stay on at my other job till end of June I'm just going to take my sponge now wherever I've put it and just go over that just to blend it through yeah, that was the original plan, you know, that um, I was going to sort of stay till about the end of June, whether I'd found another job or not. And then kind of, you know, keep looking for another job or just retire early. You see what I mean? That tiny little bit <laughs> went a really long way, but I love this colour. I absolutely love this colour. It is just gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. So let's go in with a concealer and just tie all that together because I've been enjoying doing that you know I switched that around quite a while ago you know sort of doing me bronzer and blush first and then going in with my concealer and it really does tie it all together so I'm just gonna put the hair so if my hair's looking a bit manky at the roots don't worry I'm having it done in two days <laughs> same with the eyebrows you know I get them waxed at the same time so if it's looking a bit tatty around the edges <laughs> <laughs> which it is <laughs> come on it is you know that's why you know I'm, I'm due an update of the hairdressers so i'm just going to take my trusty little morphe sponge which i love this is my last one of these i need to buy some more it's a shame you can't just get a pack of them because i would buy just them on their own because they are so good so this is the maybelline fit me concealer like i say everything will be listed down below as per usual, you know so yeah so there's been a lot of changes so regard to youtube like i say once i get a day off i'm so busy being busy i just not having time so i was determined if i go back to work in a few days to get um get a video up you know just letting you know that i'm all right <laughs> honest <laughs> you know i've had quite a lot of my um old customers come in to see me in the store you know because they sort of shop you know locally anyway and they've all said the same thing how much relaxed I look how much calmer how less stressed how happier <laughs> so they can't all be wrong can they yeah that's the way I look at it they can't all be wrong but they're all saying the same thing so I'm gonna go in with new base powder I only bought the mini because I was like you know they're expensive and it's like I just want to see if I like it let's get a powder puff which I've been loving doing and it is the one size beauty so it's just a little one here this is in translucent I haven't had it very long so I'm still on the fence a bit about it I don't know I don't use it for under my eyes, so I nearly put the wrong one on under my eyes. I still use the good old-fashioned Charlotte Tilbury. 
the Airbrush Flawless Finish in One Fair. Still using that one. Yeah, made a dent on this one and I bought this one in December. <laughs> but like I said, I'm wearing makeup now five days a week. You know, I tend to try not to wear much makeup or any at all on days off because I like to give my face a rest. <laughs> You know, it is good that you give your face a rest if you wear makeup on the regular. You know, but um, when I go to work, I am a full-faced girl. So, hence, you know, I've really sort of done some damage on her this time. I tend to sort of sit around the edges of my nose with it now as well. I'm doing that one again for a while. And I find it works really, really well. So, yeah. So that's that one. Now we're going to go in with the Patrick Tar. Again, just on a powder puff, I tend to sort of dip it in and just sort of pat a bit of the excess off and then go straight on in. But I don't know. I don't know whether I think it's sort of any better than any of my others. I think I paid about £17, £18 pound for this trial size, so, you know, it still wasn't cheap. That's it. It's not having my other mirror, I tell you. That was really stupid of me to, you know, sort of give it away, but it is what it is. And cleans it up a little bit. Give it a bit more. Yeah, nice easy trick, that one, just for sort of cleaning up. I'll just get my powder puff and go down down the side first, same on that side, just sort of sharpen it up just a little bit but without baking either, you know I don't tend to do the baking thing, yes better than it was, <laughs> I feel as if I don't know how to do makeup, I haven't put makeup on in about a week, <laughs> so yeah I feel as if I've forgotten how to do it, you know so But it's, it's nice, but I don't know. Mm, Jerry's still out. <laughs> you know, I did hear really, really good things about it, so it's not like I hadn't, because I had. But I don't know. I think I prefer the Huda Beauty loose powder. I haven't tried the new powder that she's come out with in the compact because I've not heard that many good things about it. To be fair. So it's a case of, well, if I haven't heard that many good things about it, <laughs> I'm not wasting my money. No, so the influencers are still influencing. I just set my cheeks a little bit. I don't overset them, but I do like to set them a little bit, especially, like I say, because when I'm working, you know, I am literally in the store from about half past eight to half past five, which is, like I say, which is great being full-time work. But as you can see, that blush still comes through without it being too much, which is what I absolutely love about it. So if you're still here, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to be a long one today. I should have said that at the start, but you know, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a bit longer one today because I haven't sort of, you know, said anything for so long. It's a case of, well, let's get rid of all that. I made a heck of a mess with that powder. It's trouble being a tiny little pot. It's easy to make a mess. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> okay, so I've just done my brows and I went in with my kimchi one. I'm still on that one. It's nearly all gone. <laughs> and I bought another one of the Beauty Crop BFF Clear Brow Gel. Still think that's one of the best ones. I feel as if they've changed the formula though. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it used to. So I thought, well, I'm not using anything exciting, so... In case of um, the itchy nose. Yeah, so um, I thought, you know, I'd just do that off camera. Okay, so where are we going to next? So highlighter. Haven't, again, haven't got anything new. So what are we going to go in with? Been re-enjoying the Sofa Revolution Glow. Which is this one here. Let me try and get it off the mirror. So this is in Cookies and Cream. I've gone a lot light-handed with highlighter lately, so maybe it's the new job. I've gone a lot lighter-handed with a lot of things. So I tend to just get my brush and just kind of mix the two, tap a bit off, 
and then let's say just lightly go back in again and lightly so yeah I think you know with the new job new position you've sort of got to set a certain sort of standard and so I have been sort of toning it down just a little yeah, just a little bit nothing nothing too major but more neutral colours rather than all the beautiful colours that I love uh, just a tiny bit more there so, but just a little bit of a glow rather than anything major I don't know whether my eyes need any more glow on them to be fair <laughs> I'm gonna do a bit anyway so I'm gonna take the lightest colour and I'm just gonna pop some in the inner corner give a little sum up sum up I'm gonna do some under the brow bone but I don't know whether it will show up with uh, <laughs> the glow I've got on there to be fair I'll give it a go anyway in for a penny in for a pound they're very shimmery already oh yeah that does pick it up but it's very shimmery I say don't think it's for me no but we give these things a go that that's the whole point isn't it especially when you're not going anywhere you can just do whatever it doesn't matter does it Bought a couple of new eyeliners to try you know completely different from the ones that i normally have which my staple has been the rimmel scandal eyes i thought try something new i'd heard good things about it again jessica braun <laughs> you gotta check her out you know she's influenced me on these ones and they are from the sephora collection they are the 24 hour what are they actually called um 24 hour colorful crayon contour eye pencil so i've got it in the shade oh god does it have the shade written on it yeah so we got a matte stone which is this kind of gray color and then we've also got, which colour is this one? The Mac Tiramisu. So that's going to be your sort of your brown one. But really, really creamy. They're waterproof as well. So which one are we going to go for today? I think we're going to go for the grey one. Because these ones are so creamy, I do have a little trouble putting them on. I'm not going to lie. I think... Because I've got contact lenses, I'm afraid of them getting on my contact lens and not coming off again. <laughs> so, so I'm a little bit more scared of these ones. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. So. Okay, I did sort of smudge that. I do find that they slip out my waterline. That's a probably a me thing. <laughs> than a, than a that thing. I think because I'm a very aware of my contact lenses. So I'm just gonna pop that in the waterline. I think this could be do with sharpening to be fair. But they're, they're, they're all right. I think I prefer the other ones, not gonna lie, but these ones are ten pounds and I think my other ones are about four forty nine. It's a bit of a difference in the price tag as well. And I think I like the other ones better because they're they're skinnier, whereas these I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. You can see that. They're quite fat at the end. And I think that's part of the problem for me. Okay, so we've got the eyeliner on. Now that's been sat there a while, so let's see how easy it is to get off with a wet wipe. Ooh, <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, it's when you're really going to have to go in and scrub. Now, so I gave it a really hard scrub and it's just about started to move. So once they're on, they're on. Okay, I'll come back to that because I'm really having trouble getting that off. <laughs> All right, so I've still got some on there and I've really, 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 really scrubbed that one. So it's definitely not going to budge in a hurry, which is a good thing. OK, so where are we to? Let's wipe all this gunk off my lips. I've got some new lip liners. I haven't even opened them. <laughs> I bought them last week, but like I said, I haven't been wearing makeup, so I haven't actually tried them. And they're from e.l.f. I've heard good things about these. There you go, me being influenced again. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up three it was three for two so I did pick up three I haven't even opened them to swatch them or nothing yet so apparently I've heard that the names aren't on the pencils so you really need to keep them in the packet if you want to know what the colour is which sucks because if you really fall in love with one and you want to rebuy it and it's not written on there then you know it's going to be a pain in the posterior so the first one we've got i'm not going to use these today because there's something else i want to use 
I have a new favourite. So let's just see if it really isn't written on there. No, it really isn't written on there. Oh, it really does suck then, doesn't it? So what I say this one was? Um, mauve aside, say a warm rose mauve. And it's a cream glide lip liner. Two pounds. Two pounds. Oh, that is creamy. Let's just do a good swatch so you can see the colour. That's pretty. That's an everyday sort of go-to, isn't it? Ooh, I like you. Let's pop you back in there so I know what you are in case I fall in love with you and want to rebuy you. Then we've got Spill the Tea. So that's going to be sort of your brownie one. Can't go wrong with a brown, brownie nude lip liner. Let's do a decent colour of that one. Ooh. Okay, that's quite nice as well. That is a really nice one. You can see the tone and colour difference really well there. Ooh, you're pretty. And what else did we get? I didn't even realise it was three for two when I picked them up. I just picked them up. You know, so it's like, yeah, we'll have for two quid, we'll have an extra one. They got to the till and it was like, oh, they're on three for two. It's like, bargain. And this one is Truth or Bear, which is a peachy pink. So it's giving a nice good swatch of that. Oh, that's pretty as well. It's going to be a nice sort of spring summer colour. There we go. So that's really pretty. So that's the three elf ones. But I'm not using them today. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe them off so you don't get confused with the one that I am using, which is my new go-to. So okay, that wiped off really easily. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Not sure at this point. I... So, Facebook. <sighs> oh, that likes to influence people, doesn't it? So all over Facebook, I kept getting these ads for this particular lipstick and lip liner and... I caved, I caved, and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's been all over my newsfeed. As you may notice, I have mascara on. <laughs> Took a little coffee break just to go warm my coffee up. So then I realised, like, why did my face look like? And I realised I forgot mascara. So nothing new there. But I did go in with the Elf Flash and Roll. Still a favourite, still loving this one. This is probably my fourth tube, maybe. <laughs> so yeah so side note okay back to Anastasia Beverly Beverly Hills so I love the news fade and the particular shade that they kept going back to was haze it was always haze for some reason it was haze I kept looking at it for weeks <laughs> like, okay I quit so fortunately um got it on cult beauty and they had a bit of a sale on on it it's like ooh, ideal so don't know whether you can see this because it's quite a pale colour. So this is haze. It's almost like a pinky, peachy nude. So when it got here, I thought, hmm, might be a bit pale. But I'd also ordered a lip liner. And this is in the shade Deep Taupe. Again, it's the one they kept pushing at me and pushing at me and pushing at me. And I'm like, and I've heard good things about it. And I know that their lipsticks are good because I already have one, which I absolutely love. So, let's put that with that one. So, that's the deep taupe. That needs sharpening. And with that, I've been into glossy lips. I never thought I'd say that. But I think what it is, <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm pretending I don't know what it is. Is where I work, <laughs> we have nice big long mirrors, you know, on the shop floor. And when there's no customers, I've usually got a lip gloss in my pocket and I'll go up to the mirror and apply a bit of lip gloss. So it's been so much easier to keep my lip gloss topped up because of these mirrors and because when we get a lull in customers, I can just pop on over to the mirror and whack on some lip gloss. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? So I'm just going to quickly sharpen my lip liner. Okay, so... Sharpen that one, so let's chuck some of that one on. Still no good at lip line. <laughs> and I put it on every day and I'm still no good, but I use the crap out of this one. So that's the colour of that one on. Pop the lid back on that if I lose it. So let's go in with a lipstick. I'm going to say this one's in the shade Haze, which pairs so well with this. Look at that. The 
pairing. That's beautiful. I wish I'd put some extra lip balm on. <laughs> Lips seem a bit dry. Bought lip gloss, as I said. And this is in the shade Peachy Nude. So, which is this one here. And again, I've been using the crap out of this. This one virtually lives in my pocket. So, let's swatch that one next to it. So, and that's the three colour combinations that I've been absolutely loving. Now, this is more pigmented than you think. So, I tend to sort of scrape a bit off because a lot does come out on the doe foot. You know, which is a nice little doe foot anyway. But a lot comes out, so I tend to just scrape a bit off. And I'll just chuck that one on over the top. It gives you a really nice, beautiful, glossy lip with a hint of colour. The other thing I'll do is I'll just fill in my lips with a lip liner, chuck some gloss over the top, I'm good to go. So, just depends what mood I'm in, really. Now my whole face is on. My eyes don't look as bad as I thought they did. I don't think it would be a go-to. But I may try it again with a different colour. You know, so let's get, get me your hair down. Make me look like a human. That's better. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> you know, so... But yeah, on the whole, like I said, um, face came out all right. You know, but it wasn't really about the face. It was more about saying hi to you guys, letting you know where I've been. And, you know, just sort of saying, I do, you know, I will try and get on when I can. But like I say, with days off and that, it just makes life so difficult. You know, especially because I want to see family. I've got housework to do. I usually use it as a hair wash day. <laughs> so you could see me on here sort of, you know, in the next few weeks just with wet hair so I can combine the two really need to kind of work it out you know because I love doing YouTube and I'm, I miss it you know so and hopefully you've missed me as much as I've missed you so thank you for watching my lovelies and hopefully I will see you on the next one sometime soon